Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Ten months have passed and we are still mostly live streaming our masses. I can still remember it was also around third week of March when we canceled all public masses. And immediately we started live streaming first on Facebook and Instagram. And we were just using our phones and iPads since we had no camera yet. But 10 months into it, I noticed three types of participants or quote-unquote viewers. First, those who are subscribed to our YouTube and Facebook accounts. They are those who every day, or at least they try to every day, participate in our online masses. They are those who take our online masses to heart. They eagerly listen. They participate as fully as possible as they would when they were in the church. I call subscribers as disciples. After all, on social media, they are called followers or disciples. Disciples because they take the chance to be formed even through online masses. But there are also those who are simply curious, those who would simply chance upon our online masses while browsing Facebook or YouTube. And curious, they would watch it, but would not finish it. I don't know if that would count as a view. Or those who would watch it, but really would not participate. Watching doesn't lead them to prayer because they do not fully immerse themselves into the experience of the Mass. And thirdly, those who are watching but with the intention of bashing or criticizing. Believe you me, we get from time to time, though not many, dislike or thumbs down on YouTube and bashers on Facebook Messenger. But of course, we give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they just didn't like what they saw or heard. Who knows? But there are real bashers on social media, those who would watch you, but whatever you tell them, they just won't believe you. Hard-headed, hard-hearted. But that's okay. During the time of Jesus, he had the same types of people as we see in the gospel today. He had his disciples with him, people who stood beside him through thick and thin, people who followed him because they wanted to learn from him and to be formed by him. They believed in Jesus. They committed themselves to Jesus. Hence, they were subscribers. They have subscribed to the teachings of Jesus. But Jesus had curious followers too, the crowd, the multitude. They were following Jesus to get what they wanted, and after, gone. They were following Jesus, curious to see what he could do. They were looking for amazement. They were following Jesus because they were merely going with the flow. They were more of quote-unquote fans than subscribers, disciples of Jesus. And finally, we find the unclean spirits who recognize Jesus as the Son of God, but no conversion. They already saw Jesus. They knew what he could do. They already heard him. But the hardness of their hearts and their sinfulness stopped them from subscribing to Jesus. They continue to taunt Jesus, even if what Jesus says is of truth. So to our friends tuned in right now, whether live or after live, which class do you belong? My prayer is that whatever mode of operation the church uses, whether in person or online, whether outside or inside a church, we become and we remain subscribers, followers, faithful disciples of Jesus. Amen.